Welcome to watch our presentation all for stable gaps estimation within consecutive video frames. Most of our existing depth from video method didn't think of free-to-free -free depth estimation stability. We found depths within temporary consecutive frames exist in stability, although single image depths can be estimated well by recent works. Thus, this work aims to solve this problem. You can look at the single. The first column is the input phrase. The second column is the result from the model depth 2. The third one is our results. Compare then, our results can output stable depths for the objects like the traffic landmark. Our method learns depth from molecular video without leaving ground truth supervision and aims to produce stable depths within temporarily consecutive frames. This is of a method framework. Given two temporarily consecutive video frames L1 and L2, the depth lines can estimate the depth maps D1 and D2. Post lines can estimate the camera poles from L1 to L2 and L2 to L1. Then we compute the temporal smoothly chain S1 and S2 and the temporal smoothness loss LTS. By warping D1 using the camera pose, we obtain the warped depth map D warp in the image play of L2. Then we compute the geometry consistency loss LDGC according to the D warp and the D2. With estimated depths, camera pose and pre-computed camera intrinsic metric K, we reconstruct scene 1 in the image play O for L1 from L2 and reconstruct scene 2 in the image play of L2 from L1 in the same way. Then we compute the photometric difference diff1 between scene 1 and L1 and the compute diff 2 between scene 2 and L2. Finally, we conduct photometry in consistency check to get a weight mask using diff 1 and diff 2. Our loss function contains four terms. The first term is photometric reprojection loss. In our work, we also treat the depth estimation task as minimizing the photometric loss. With the estimated depth map dt and the camera pose t from torch to source, we synthesis L source to torch by warping the source view image Ls. Well, uh, differentiable by linear interpolation is used. With the synthesis L source to torch and the reference view image LT, we can formulate the photometric reprojection parts in the formula to handle enumeration changes in real-world themes. We also end an image dissimilarity loss SSIM. The second term is the temporal smoothness. We define a temporal smoothness term for every estimated depth. The temporal smoothness term can simply be the mean or median value of the depth map. To reduce Lloyd's impact, we choose the median as the temporal smoothness term of the depths. With the consecutive estimated depths dA and dB, we compute the temporal smoothness term 
SA for DA and SB for DB. We then simply formulate the temporal suitability laws in the center of the page. We constrain the global scale of the depths within consecutive phrase to acquire stable depth results with the temporal stability loss. The optimization not only encourages the global scale consistency between laboring frees, but also transfers this consistency to the entire sequence in a chain model. The third chain is the edge wheel smoothness, which is used in the reference paper 18. Besides the each wheel smoothness, we also require that the touch view depths dt and the source view depths ds conform with the same 3D thin structure and minimize the difference. The improvements is that before computing the difference between dt and ds, we calculate the d scaled depth map by divided by S. Then we compute the the scaled depth consistency map as the fourth loss chain. We qualitatively and quantitatively evaluate our method's performance and compare it with other representative methods. We train and test on Kitty row datasets using agent splits. Table 1 lists the comparison results on the matrix. Beside the stable depth outputs, our method can produce computatively scores with other ones. In Table 2, we first validate the proposed temporal stability loss and the photometry inconsistency check. Considering the different number of the network layers influence the model, we also carry out experiments with different layers of our network. We follow previous works in initializing our encoders with weights pre-trained on ImageNet. So we also compare the results of our proposed model with or without image lines pre-trained weights while training. Besides the comparison on metric scores, we also present some visual cases. Uh, please look at this finger. When we input four consecutive phrases, we carry out comparison of a molecular depth estimation among Joe, Gordad, Wang, Geonite, structure depth, more depth two, and the other method. So besides the stable depth output, especially for the landmark, our method can produce stable depths and a clear shape. Finally, let's make conclusion. In this paper, we have proposed a new and supervised molecular depth estimation method, which can estimate stable depth results within contemporary consecutive phrase. Meanwhile, our depth estimation method achieves competitively performance comparing with the state-of-the-art method on the KT dataset. In the future, as the perfect implementation of depth estimation from the video, these both accurate estimation of depth and the camera pulse. We would uh, focus on improving camera pose estimation and deal with more complex motions. Okay, thanks for your watching.